Hey, and welcome to another CC tutorial. Now, this tutorial is a mesh tutorial, and it's supposed to be completely beginner friendly. Now, in my previous mesh tutorial, we went from this to this. And then I promised that I'm going to show you how to go from this to this. So this is what we're going to be doing today. Now, if you missed my latest mesh tutorial video, I would highly encourage you to go and watch that one first. However, I'm pretty confident that any beginner will be able to follow this tutorial as well. Software that we'll need. Sims 4 Studio and Blender. Download links, as always, are in the description below. Quick recap of what we did in the last video. So, in the Sims 4 Studio, we chose Create 3D Mesh, then we selected this shelf, we saved it as a package file. Once here, we chose the Mesh tab and we exported our mesh of the lowest LOD or level of detail. Then we opened the Mesh file in Blender. Now, what we did here is that we deleted all these tiny little items to get an empty shelf. So, while in Edit mode, we selected them by hovering over the part we want selected and then pressing L on the keyboard. Once everything is selected, we deleted an item by pressing X on the keyboard and then selecting verticals. We repeated that until we got a completely empty shelf. And this is where we left off. First, what I wanted to do is that I wanted to add an extra shelf. As you can see here, there is an extra shelf. The way that we're going to do that is to simply copy and paste it. So while in edit mode, select the shelf by hovering over it and pressing L until you have an entire shelf selected. Once you have it selected, go to the menu and click Duplicate. Now, as you can see, it sort of kind of like sticks to our mouse when you paste it. Well, whenever this happens to you, you can simply press Escape on your keyboard. This will like automatically place your shelf at its original spot which for me is here because this is the shelf that I've copied. So it's exact replica down to its position. Now you can move it by using these little arrows that you see while the object is selected. You can move it up and down on the Y axis by moving the blue arrow. You can move it sideways by using the red arrow and you can move it backwards and forward by using the green arrow. Now I want it up, so I'm using the blue arrow. I'm just pulling it up with my mouse. And now we have an extra shelf. Now you see these little white thingies? Now in the game, these are actually glass or, well, they show up as glass, sort of like glass on top of a shelf. Now, I like them, so I don't want to delete them, but they are kind of in a way, as you may have noticed. So if you're ever in the situation where a part of your mesh is kind of in a way, you can simply hide it. You can hide any part of your mesh by clicking the eye icon next to the part you want hidden. So I click the eye icon and as you can see, the glass part of the mesh is now gone. I don't like how these shelves are positioned. Now I want there to be 
somewhat of an even amount of space between them, so I'm going to move them a bit. Selecting them by hovering over them and pressing L on your keyboard and then moving them up and down by using the blue arrow. I'm just repeating it until I got everything done. Okay, so right now I'm going to position the glass part of the mesh as well. So I will make the glass part of the mesh visible again by clicking the eye icon and then selecting each glass part of the shelf and moving it down until I have it exactly where I want to. Again, using the blue arrow to do this. Now, finally, let's make it bigger. First, I'm going to move legs um, just to define the length that I want my shelf to be. So I'm selecting both legs on the left side um, so that I can drag them to the position where I want them to be. So select the legs of the shelf by hovering over the part you want selected and press L on your keyboard. Make sure you have everything selected because you don't want any pieces left behind. It can be very annoying trying to get them to their position like separately. So really, really make sure that you select all. Now once I have shelf legs selected, I'm just going to drag them sideways using the red arrow. And I want them kind of right here. Once I have that done, it's time to make my shelves longer. I want all these shelves to stretch from this leg of the shelf to this leg of the shelf. So that all of them are going to be the exact same size. I'm just going to hide the glass part again just so that I can see the mesh that I'm editing a little bit better. So I can select all of them by again pressing L on my keyboard while hovering over them. Again, make sure you select everything. I cannot stress enough how important it is that you select everything. So rotate, look up, look down, just make sure you select everything because it can be really annoying if you have some leftover pieces oh, and you're trying to position them at the right spot. It's just, it's a mess. So make sure you select everything on your first try. Once you have all shelves selected, right here at the menu, you can either select scale or you can also press S on your keyboard. Both of these commands really do the same thing, which is they activate the scaling option. And once you either select scale at the menu or you press S on your keyboard, something like this will happen. So it automatically starts resizing the whole selected area. But you can also choose if you want to scale it on X, Y or Z axis. So what I want to do is that I want to scale it sideways. So that would be on the X axis. So I'm going to press X on my keyboard and then I will get to something like this, right? So I'm resizing it sideways. Now, once I get my size exactly the way that I want to, I'm just going to move my shelves to fit nicely between the legs of the shelf. Well, that came out a bit wrong, but um, you know what I mean? Now, when I have this done, what I have to do is that I have to resize the rest of the mesh, like these glass shelf thingies. So I click on them and I'm resizing all of them so I can safely select all. 
So what this means is that you don't have to go and select each vertical separately by pressing L on your keyboard, but instead you can select all. So everything at the same time. And the way that you do that is that you simply press A on your keyboard. So when you press A on your keyboard, it automatically selects the whole mesh or that part of the mesh. Once everything is selected, press S on your keyboard for scaling and then X because again, I'm scaling it on the X axis, which is sideways and get them to exactly where you want them to be. Now, to be fair, this mesh already looks pretty cool, right? Except this bottom part. So like this white base and the shadow, they both need to be fixed. So click this shadow part of the mesh, then select these two by hovering over them and pressing L on your keyboard. And then you can move them using the red arrow until they're underneath the shelf. Now for the um, white base part, you can simply click A to select all of it. Then either click scale on the menu or select S on your keyboard. After that, press X on your keyboard to resize it sideways, get it to the size you want it to be and drag it by using the red arrow to get it to position you want it to be. And finito, the mesh is done. So I'm just going to save it. Now go back to the Sims 4 Studio and import your mesh. Make sure that you import your mesh to all LODs. Again, LOD stands for level of detail. So import your mesh to low level of detail, medium level of detail, and high level of detail. And your shelf is done. Now I'm curious if you guys find this simple enough to follow or is it like too simple perhaps? I don't know. Um, please just let me know so that way I can adjust my tutorials for the future. Now as far as CC goes, my next video is going to be on how to add slots to our little shelf. Uh, or, well, any object for that matter, but we're using shelf for the purpose of this tutorial. So yeah, if you're interested in that, please stick around. Any questions, suggestions, as always, they're very welcomed in the comments below. If you guys find my content helpful or informative, you can help me out by simply liking this video and subscribing to my channel costs you nothing and to me it really means a lot and thank you guys for watching and i will see you in my next